This is Mark Yeats, composer, visual artist and co-director of Diva Contemporary with another edition of New Music and Sound from Diva Contemporary Studios from Bridport in Dorset. Today's podcast features Anne-Marie Borg, composer and performer, talking about her initiative, Antara Project, and the project's new CD. Now, rather than me rattle on and tell everybody what Antara Project is all about, as we have you here, I think it's just good to launch in and ask you the question so you can tell our listeners exactly what it is. So, can you tell us what is Antara Project? And why did you create it? It is a community of artists, creators and musicians around the world um, that I started making connections with about four years ago. It's a time of change and I think art and creativity and talent in general looking at what there is inside of, of us and trying to express it is actually the way for the future. I find that we should invest in creativity now to create a better future, not just for us, but also for the future generations. That's the kind of idea, it's a philosophy. Uh, I kind of count on other people to also bring their own ideas into the project. Now, I know you have a very strong uh, conviction and interest in environmental issues. Yes. And uh, I think this this kind of underpins a lot of what Antara Project is about as well. It is, yes, you're absolutely right. It is. um, I started being in contact with people like Resurgence and other environmental organisations, Artist Project Earth, those type of organisations, And uh, the fact that we are damaging the world around us, to me, is is a terrible thing to live through. And and I think Antara is based on that. Um, So yes, the environmental issues are there and the contribution from environmental organizations and activists and people who write about all these things is quite, um, you know, enormous in in the project. Sure. So the, the new album is called Breaking Through and it is released by Antara Projects, and it contains an eclectic selection of work by artists from, well, mainly around Europe, I think. It is mainly around Europe. I think the further off we go is Canada. Right, well, that's, yes, that's that's, that's pretty, (laughs) it's a pretty wide sweep of of artists from, from different places. So can you tell us how you brought together and how you balance such a varied selection of work into this one compilation album. I've listened to a number of these tracks now and they are all very different. So it must have been quite a a creative and artistic challenge to actually get an album that worked. uh, Well, I hope it's going to (laughs) work. But uh, it feels very coherent to me, but I might be kidding myself, but it just feels that way. And I think that's why I gave it the title Breaking Through, because it's breaking through a certain number of boundaries and preconceived ideas about music, which has, uh, then music has to divided, be divided in categories and have labels. And I think the music that I have chosen and the people who have contributed are, are from so many different 
areas and of music and art as well because I have artists as well and I have photographers, sculptors, all, all sorts of other people who are creators. But the music itself, it just holds together because it does have a common denominator. It has a lot of soul and a lot of heart and I think that's what binds us together and binds this music together. And you had a question about pathos. Pathos, yes. So how did that happen and where did that come from? Were you at all thinking especially of Antara or were you, uh, or did that, was that a piece that really just made sense at that time and just, or just happened? I don't know. Uh, the, the answer to that is yes and no. Um, <laughs> on the one level, I was very conscious of what Antara is about, and particularly with regards to this, this phrase that we keep using, environmental issues, and the damage that's happening in the world, and, and species that are becoming extinct, and pollution, and so on and so forth. So those, those factors were in the back of my mind. And whilst I couldn't set out to write a piece that was about those things specifically, it did inform the mood that the piece mm -hmm. Um, takes so there is an intensity about it, um, hopefully, which is is an ampl amplification of that of that particular mood and of my the the, the the things that concern me and the way I think about such issues. But again, they're placed in abstract terms because mm -hmm. a piece of music for me has to work entirely on its own merits, regardless of any yes. external plot or program. So the piece was composed as a piece of music which didn't have reference to anything else, but it was informed by the request for it to be for Antara Project and what Antara Project yes. was about. So both of those yes. things are, are, yes. are important. Well, when you think about it, I mean, the fact that, uh, I mean, just the word pesos, and it's an extraordinary emotional piece. And this is reaching out to people's emotions and compassion and and, and Antara means from the heart. So uh, I do see how it fits as well, even even though it has its, a life of its own, of course. But, uh, and we will premiere it at an uh, at, uh, Antara event. Well, I think that just about draws a close to our fascinating conversation. And uh, Anna-Marie Borg, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for giving us your time and your insights into the fabulous Antara project and we look forward to hearing a lot more about it as the CD is released and as the Lumen event looms ever closer. <laughs> well thank you very much, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much Mark. <laughs>